AP style doing? Who's excited? We got a lot going on this month. But first, we have business to tend to. Always trades first. So I would like to call this the trade of the week. This really is the best trade that I had all week. And I do trades daily. And not to mention that today is Tuesday. <laughs> but I get trades from Twitter. I get trades from YouTube. I get trades from in-game. And I love them all. So this one tops it this week. It came from YouTube, but she's actually one of my new Roblox friends. And she wrote me and said, hey, I can give you this for this, which you're about to see. And I said, okay. So now we are in game and I am riding fly. This is my favorite car, y'all. I don't know if this is anybody else's favorite car in the game that actually has it. Um, it came with one of the houses that, in my house, I think it came with the Millionaire Mansion. And I had, and you, to be honest, like everybody loves my house and this and that, but I can honestly say that I had the Celebrity Mansion and I would be in game and I would see people driving past in this car and I would chase them down and say, trade me. I'll give you this, 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 and this. Oh, trade me. I'll give you this, 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 and this. Stupid. I did not know that this car was not tradable then, obviously. I had no idea. Somebody finally had the decency to say, you can't trade it. And I didn't believe them. I'm like, what? It's a car. So I went and started looking at the stuff and did realize that you have to buy the house to get the car. I should have known that, but I didn't because I wasn't looking at that huge house. Anyways, I did now. My girl's here, Sanctuary Kawaii. Thank you for meeting me. Pleasure, pleasure. And we about to do a trade, and we have on the same tutu, yep. Yeah? We're twins, so I am trading one of my two shadows. So, she got the only one that I had for trade because she offered this. One, two, three, four, five potions. And I love that offer. That's $1,200 uh, worth of Robux. So it's good for her because you can't buy them anymore. And it's good for me because I got four five potions and I love it. So I had somebody asking me the whole time I was about to do this trade, are you trading flat potions? And I am now. And she has a giraffe. So initially I did ask OG, <laughs> Sanctuary Kawhi, if she had three potions in the giraffe and she said no, but she would if she did. And so now I'm getting in it anyways. This is essentially exactly what I wanted. So it was like um, two trades in one. And I got what I was hoping for. So that's awesome. Bye, Twinsy. Have a good one. See you next time. I hope you got some more potions soon. I can buy them, but I like to trade for them first if I can. Just because I like to trade. <laughs> so, let's get back to the ride. And we are out. Peace. Of course, I flipped the car because that's what I do. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I'm crazy. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to be talking about, we're going to go over here on Twitter. And we are going to talk about Beism and her beautiful things that she produces on a weekly basis. They have the ability um, as a community to produce five items a week. And so I'm always excited to see what she's going to post. And this was a little hint. Not the two, two. She already did that last week. But I'm going over here to show you guys what it looks like on the avatar. She does not look like that regular. You just saw what she usually looks like. That was her. But whenever she's doing edits, she changes just to um, try different things. So we, if you go on her page, you can try them on. 
It's BSM. Just go into somebody's inventory and you can try on anything, even if it's off sale. And this is what it looks like. I have to tell you, I've had a really big problem finding something that I adore and that I want to buy and invest in for my back. And this is it. And I knew as soon as I saw it, and that's what I've been waiting for. Like, oh, good job, girl. I'm obsessed with them. I think they're beautiful, and I wish I could buy them right now. So there's pink ones, too. Check it out. And this is what the pink ones look like. If you like pink better than black, which a lot of people do, and they are beautiful, just not for me. They're very pretty. You can hear a little gremlin in the background. That is, <laughs> that is a gremlin, yep. My child. Okay, so that's cute. It's cute with the bow, too, because it makes it pop. So I'm going on Arethea's page now. And we're going to look at what she has available that might be coming out this week. I'm not sure. This blush, Teardrop Braids. Now I have my hair on, so I'm going to go over here on my iPad and take my current hair off so we can see what this one actually looks like. Can't really tell from here. So just give me a second and I will reset. That's a good thing about having more than one gadget is that you can change things from other areas. This is to die. Like, I love that. Yes, I hope that comes out this week. I really absolutely hope that that comes out this week. I want it. We're going to go over here on Arethea's page on Twitter and see what's going on on her side of the pond. It says, Lavender Messy Buns are now up for sale. 100 Robux. That's not a bad deal. I mean, I'm not sure what they are usually. Maybe that's just 20 off or something. Maybe 70. I'm not sure, but let's try them on. Ooh, that's cute. Yes, I might have to cop those since they're only 100. That's really, like, I don't even think that I've tried these on yet, and I'm loving it. So, if you guys like these Lavender Misty Buns like I do, you can go over and get them for 100 Robux right now. Who knows how long it's going to last. I'm not sure how long this sales last. So then, also, for this month, check it out. When you go onto the Adopt Me page, it says Farm Eggs coming at the end of November, which is the end of this month. So we have that to look forward to as a future update. It's not going to be this week because this is not the end of November. Unless for some reason they change their idea. Okay, so then looking further on the Adopt Me page. Um, this was actually posted, I think, before the egg. It says there's a, just a bee. She posted only a bee. So honestly, the good thing about that is, is that we know it's going to be this week. So, somebody said, can't wait for the bee. Other people are saying, talking about prices. People are posting pictures of the bees and saying, yes, yay, the new bee pet. Oh, my goodness. And somebody posted a picture when Bee Thinks said, you guys asked for it, which is the picture that I'm using for everything right now because I think that's the only one showing what it looks like. And I'm pretty sure that that is exactly what it has to look like because look at the feet and everything. Like, that is what we're going to be flying around, you guys. So, I'm pretty sure that's what's going to be Friday. And if it's not, then you guys can just, you know, say whatever you need to say to me. That's what I'm hoping. And, oh, yeah, because, did you see what that just said? It said, this week's update is unbelievable. And it says it was too, like, a B, the word B. And some people even went on there and said, Oh, I wonder what it is. Well, if it's on Believable, I would say it's a B. Now, this says the Hollywood House, I have a reason for this, is cost for 
1500 bucks, not Robux. As a studio, we need to make money so we can pay people and do lots of updates. But we want Adopt Me to be really fun, even if you play for free. Some updates will be free, bucks, and some will be Robux. We hope that you understand. So people say we understand, some people say we don't. I'm like, oh, that's legit, because it is. I mean, they are working hard to make these updates for us every single week. And somebody has to pay them for their work. <laughs> so let's be grateful, y'all. If it costs Robux, there's a reason. They need to make money, too. So last but not least, and I do save the best for last, because this is my new house, the dollhouse. We, every time I open, it pulls me in that middle room. Important thing is to find a wallpaper that I am going to appreciate to have to see every time I pop in so even though I'm not doing this room right now I need the wallpaper to be good I'm speeding it up because I tell you what I went through every single one and I didn't like any not for the, what the dollhouse is see this room is going to be the room of Miss M this is the room that she's sitting in in the video I like the one with the letters I might go back to that pink one if you guys have a favorite, let me know. But if you've seen the video that I'm talking about for the dollhouse video, and it's the room where she's sitting, it's a floral print. If you, Whatever you guys think is good for that room, that's what I'm making on that side there is where she's going to be sitting. Anyways, I chose white for now because it's just too hard. I, I can't even do it. So while I'm here in this house, I'm speeding it up a bit, and I'll tell you why. Because the last videos that I made, they were really long and it took a really long time to edit and update and upload. And I feel like um, it was kind of slow anyways for you guys to be watching. So if I speed it up, you can still see what I'm doing and it's just not so laggy. I put this pink thing in front here on the roof of the house because she has like an arch in the middle in the video and there's no way I can make that. I tried. I even tried to put the barrier on top and put just one brick at an angle facing each other and it just wasn't going. It wasn't working. So now everything is moving around in here. Oh no. I really want to start on the second room over here but I haven't done that yet either because I keep thinking of things that I should do like on the exterior of the dollhouse. I'm getting rid of these bricks. I hate the way that looks. See, and I'll spend a lot of time on putting something in place and then decide in two seconds that I don't like it anymore after hours have passed. I'll come back and be like, uh, no. Even though I just spent so many hours putting that there. Anyways, it's a working process, as I said. So now, as I'm putting this barrier here, I'm realizing that... The dollhouse does have a door that's hung open in the beginning of the video. And then on the end, it shows it like the dollhouse completely closed. So there is a door. And it shows like the inside of it is maroon. So I'm just going to get this basic $4 rug. I'm going to put it here as the, as the folding door for the dollhouse. And I'm going to make it the color that it is in the video, which is maroon. So some of these things are things that I would actually do if I was just doing it, but I, I, that's my theme. I'm really, truly trying to go off of it the best I can with the items that I have. So it's fun to do that. It's really fun to just grab a theme and then try to, do, to implement it. So I'm really enjoying it. So, you know, the door to the front of the house once we get it at the perfect angle, it's not just going to be a flat color door that closes like that. It has to have things on it. So we will decorate it. And that will be fun. on this baby so we're just gonna get the tiniest windows that there is because that's what fits the best for this 
this space and I'm gonna put four of them which is matchy matchy I put those gold bricks there because I was trying to do like hinges for the door and I was like oh it's okay if they're oversized it'll just make it you know look childlike I don't like them those are not gonna stay that it looks worse than childlike it looks way it looks like I put two pieces of tape there or something like that's so funny it's not happening that's going off Okay, so we're going to just have to change that. I wonder what you guys think about my avatar. I did change it this week. <laughs> okay, I decided since that is not fitting, I'm going to use them for doors because there is doors in the center of the windows. So we're going to put two bricks to make the doors, which are very cute. And actually, they are purple. So what I'm doing here is I'm just putting some bricks in to fill in the space so that I don't have to move the door again because I don't want to move it because even though I put the windows on there, if I move the rug, then it's going to keep the windows where they are. And anyways, it doesn't all move together, so I'm not moving that. So anytime something like that happens, all you have to do is just go in and put the bricks. And it's cool. So I popped off, I popped back on, here I am. I love the way it's looking so far, it looks really cool. Every time that I go off after I've been off for a while, it starts like coming back to me, you know, realizing that it really actually is a cool design. You can see that I put the royal rugs back. I was watching another video and I realized I can change the color. I don't know if that option was always available for these rugs because some things you can change the color and some things you can't. And you can, and I love it because I love the pink with the yellow lines. I think that is bubblegum cute. So I did do that. With these bricks, I'm gonna change those to the color of the door and just change those maroon. So that's what we'll do now. session for today as far as the editing of the new dollhouse. I hope you guys stick with me for it all. These are the things that are coming up. We got the farm eggs. We got these beautiful fairy wings. And then of course this Friday, love it or leave it, we got the bee. Bzzz. Please like and subscribe. Ciao!